Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome. It's 7 o'clock, that means it's time for 7 Minutes in the Morning, right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where 5 days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. You have sound? I don't know what that means. Hey, uh, good morning. Thank you for joining me. As the intro said, we're talking about too much confidence today. But before we get to that, just a, quick, a, a couple of quick housekeeping matters. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Catherine and Joe and Jessica have already done. Leave a comment, say hello, good morning, uh, how you doing? Whatever makes you feel good, it'll make me feel good too. Just leave the comment down there. And when we get to the end, if you get any value today, I'm going to ask you to do me a couple of favors, so be sure and stick around for that. All right. Um... Yeah, I guess, well, I'll go ahead and say uh, just my matter of housekeeping. Since we're on housekeeping, it's when, it's uh, Tuesday, not Wednesday. Whew. Speeding things up. It's Tuesday, radio show day. So after I hop off here, I'm going to run downtown, get on the radio and do the radio show. WTKIRadio.com or talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Get you the right place where you can join in just like you're doing here, watching live and commenting live as we do the show. All right, so today we're talking about confidence. You guys, this is going to be different than anything I've talked about before regarding confidence. You've heard me talk about confidence a lot, how we have to have it, that it's it's a natural part of what we do, that there's a natural trepidation about doing some things that that are risky, that are pushing the boundaries of our comfort zone, so you have to build that confidence in order to do those things. Well, today I want to talk to you about when when is it possible to have too much confidence there's always this balance and and this is a question that uh, I get a lot from my business owner clients that are a couple of years into the business you know when you're first getting started you can run headlong you can work hard but then you get to a point where you have to start asking questions and actually the example I'm going to use today comes from the beginning also but I run into this a lot more often with those um, those business owners that have been at it for a little while but here's so here's the scenario it is possible right if you don't have enough confidence you, you won't have you won't you won't be able to make progress you can't push the boundaries of your comfort zone but if you have too much you'll just go shooting right off the cliff right here's the example that I like to use I'll call him Bob a prospect in my coaching practice came to me and said listen I have this fantastic idea actually it was Bob and his daughter now that I think about it both of them came together we have this great idea We've, we've worked to get a patent on it. Um, we, we've got uh, a you know, logo and everything figured out. Just need your help. Marketing. And, and I said, well, tell me more about the product. Well, I can't. It's, it's a secret. Okay. Um, well, what's the, what seems to be the problem? Well, nobody can help me market it because they don't know anything about it. I'm like, well, yeah, I can agree with that. And everybody tells us, the people that we do talk to about it, they say it's a bad idea. Which, it being a secret, should have been a red flag for me. I'll just say that. Well, so, here's the thing. We're going to have people that don't agree, that don't support, that don't care about what we're doing. And they're going to be, I'll call them naysayers, haters the disinterested peanut gallery, whatever you want to call them. They're going to say, yeah, okay, whatever, or, wow, that's a dumb idea. Why are you doing that? We're always going to deal with those, okay? Don't mistake those for people who listen to your idea and begin to question it. I have a good friend and uh, mentor, Dan Miller, lives in Nashville. 
Got a great website, 48days.com. And he says, this is one of the things he told me years ago, and it just kind of stuck with me. When three or more people ask for a product, or, or ask a question rather, when three or more people ask a question, that's a product opportunity. I'm going to turn that around and say when three or more people question your idea, you should slow down. It's likely that there might be some holes in it. So Bob and his daughter and I sat there and worked through what we could through some of the questions. And, and as I began to ask questions, well, who's your market? Who's the ideal user? How much are they willing to pay? Who else is serving this market? What are the competitive products? Just straight up legit questions about, you know, have you done your research? He got really irritated with me. You know, say, oh, you're just like everybody else. You don't believe, blah, blah, and gone. Well, as it turns out, a couple of months later, I ran into Bob again. Not that there's anything wrong with working at a big box store, but he was working at the big box store, and I said, Bob, how's that idea come? Well, I, you know, we kind of ran, ran out of money, and you know, the market's not ready. Just, right? So we have to balance confidence against hubris. Hubris is when we let confidence grow unchecked and out of control. And so that we're, we're, we're so ridiculously confident that, that we don't listen to anybody else. And I always, I, 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 I'll be honest, I struggle with this because I, I, I'm always reminded of the guys who got us to the moon. A lot of people told them they were crazy. You know, we got Elon Musk, Musk now wanting to go to Mars. A lot of people are telling him he's crazy. I think he's going to wind up going, though. I mean, so confidence can overcome a lot of fear. It can, it can help you overcome a lot of fear and can overcome a lot of obstacles. But you have to balance that against being out of control, not listening to the people who are advising you. Even people like Elon can listen to advice. <laughs> Catherine said she had a dollar for every time somebody told her she was crazy. <clears throat> Even people like e um, Elon will listen to advice and then m make a qualitative decision in his own mind about whether it's worth listening to or not. That's what you have to do so that you can keep this, uh, keep your own confidence machine in check, so to speak. All right, that's it. I think I ended my Instagram post with be confident, don't be stupid, something like that. Actually, the text on this post should end the same way too. If that has been helpful for you, good, I'm glad. And I would appreciate if you'd do something, give me the old thumbs, hearts, likes, Thumbs up, hearts, likes, stars, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. And if you know, I don't, no, 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 not if you know, you already know. You know someone who could benefit from listening to this message today. Share this video, not with your whole network, but that one person. Remember when, uh, Wednesday, I did it again, Tuesday, radio show day. Talk radio for entrepreneurs coming up at the top of the hour. I'll be back tomorrow. You guys have a great Tuesday, and I'll talk to you then.